Hi everyone, welcome back to Trini Kids TV or oh, welcome to Trini Kids TV if this is your first time. Now we start our circle time by singing our good morning song. So let's all sing the good morning song together. Are you ready? Good morning, good morning, good morning, how are you? Good morning, good morning, it's nice to see you too. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, good morning. It's nice to see you too. And a very good morning to all of our friends that are watching. Now, let's find out what day it is today, friends. Well, yesterday was Tuesday, so what comes after Tuesday? Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday, friends. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. All day long. All day long. Yes, it's Wednesday today and what a wonderful Wednesday it is. Now, we are still in the month of March. Yes. So, let's say the days of the week and the months of the year. The days of the week are Sunday Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And there are 12 months in the year. So let's say those 12 months. The months of the year are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Yes, so those are the months of the year. Now, my friends, it's time to find out about our weather. Yes, we have to find out what weather we are having today. But we need to sing our weather song first, right? So let's sing together. What's the weather like? What's the weather like? What's the weather like today, today? What's the weather like? What's the weather like? What's the weather like today? Well, is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy? Is it cloudy? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy? Is it cloudy? What's the weather like today? Well, now we can take a look outdoors windows and see what kind of weather we are having today well take a look yes my friends it's a cloudy day today it's a cloudy day and that's pretty much how the week has been going the weather has been kind of rainy and kind of sunny but it's still a good day to have fun inside or outside all right so let's find out about our shape of the day our shape of the day today is a rectangle. Yes, a rectangle is our shape of the day. Can you think of something that might be shaped like a rectangle? Well, a door might be shaped like a rectangle. A phone might or a tablet might be shaped like a rectangle. So those are some really important rectangles, right? Now, Let's find out about our color of the day. What's our color of the day? Well, our color of the day today is the color green. Green is our color of the day. How do we get our color of the day? Well, green is one of those colors that you have to mix to get. You get green when you mix blue and yellow together and you get green. Now, can we think of some things that might be green? Well, there's grass, there are trees, there's some 
herbs and spices like bandania or celery that are green. The, even the tops of the carrots are green. Now you might not see that all the time, but it depends on the kind of carrots you might buy. And speaking of carrots, that has to do with our lesson of the day today. But friends, we will find out about that a little bit later. Now, let's find out about our number of the day. Our number of the day today, friends, is the number 10. Yes, we have 10 fingers on one hand and 10 toes, right? So 10 is our number of the day. Well, what can we do to count to 10? Well, we can do something that has to do with some of the symbols of Easter, the chicken. We can stick our necks out like a chicken. So let's do that and count to 10. Ready? Well, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. We looked just like a hen when we were counting to ten, right? So that was a good exercise. Good for you. Now let's find out about our letter of the day. Our letter of the day today, of course, is the letter that comes after R in the alphabet. It comes after R. Let's say the alphabet and find out. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. S is next. Good job. Let's finish the alphabet. T U V W X Y and Z. Very good. So now we know our letter of the day is the letter S. Can we think of some words that start with S? Well, there's sit, there's soup, there's and there are lots of S words, right? There are even some S words in our days of the week, like Saturday and Sunday. Great job, everyone. Now, our letter of the day brings us to our area of the day. Our area of the day today, friends, comes from Trinidad. So, let's jump in our boats and sail to Trinidad to talk about our area of the day. Our area of the day today is Separia. Yes, what do we know about Separia? Well, it's in deep south and it's a wonderful place to visit. Take a look at some of the main features of Separia. So, I hope you get a chance to visit Separia very soon, friends. Now, we're going to be talking about the Easter carrot and the Easter bunny. And bunnies love carrots, yes. Why do they love carrots? Well, let's take a look. Do bunnies love carrots? Well, actually, yes, they do. Bunnies love carrots because it's sweet. Carrots are very sweet to them and they enjoy them. But if you have a little pet bunny, you shouldn't give them too many carrots. But carrots and vegetables are what bunnies enjoy the most. So, bunnies like vegetables all right my friends now it's time for our lesson for today and as you know we've been talking about easter and we have a fun activity for you today we are going to create some craft we are going to make some easter carrots as well as an easter bunny and play a little game a little later now what you would need for your craft time today we're going to use some of your mommy and daddy's clothes pins preferably the wooden ones and we're going to use a little paint a little crayon and we're going to get started all right friends so today we are going to be making our clothes pin carrots and our clothes pin bunny 
so I just have six of my wooden clothespins here and I'm going to paint them using some poster paint to get my carrots looking nice as well as my bunny so of course what you would need is some clothespins you can you do more if you would like I'm just doing five well six actually and one of them will be my bunny rabbit so that we can play the game later I'm going to use my poster paints as well as some paper I have some green paper this is going to be the top of my carrots and I'm going to show you exactly how you need to do that and a little bit of glue so let's get started by doing our little carrots first and I'm just going to put aside one of the clothes pins so the first thing I'm going to do is paint my carrot orange of course and start painting my carrot now I have some water there of course so I can spread my poster paint nicely right it already looks like a nice little carrot there so I'm just gonna coat it with some poster paint now if you don't have poster paint of course you can use like a highlighter you could use you know a marker crayon whatever you want to use just to make it look like a nice orange carrot all right so i finished painting my um clothespins orange those five now i'm going to go with my white clothespin for my bunny and just start painting that one white all right so this is going to be our bunny and as soon as this one dries i'm going to paint the little bunny ears and make the bunny face but so far it's looking good see so i'm going to put it over here to dry Let's wait for it to dry and then we will come back and finish our art. Alright, so now, my, now that my clothespins are dried, let's get started with making our bunny and our carrot. So I'm going to start with the bunny first. So I have my clothespin here and you're going to turn it to the side like this. And then you're going to get a little bow or make a little bow or you can draw on a little bow but I have actually have a little bow that I purchased so I'm going to just use that and put my little bow for my bunny there to the bottom see that and then I'm going to draw the bunny's face all right so we're going to draw the bunny's nose first of all and you just need a nice little red circle so you're going to do a red circle there for the little bunny's nose look at that that and then you're going to go ahead with um, a black marker preferably and then you're going to draw his little whiskers and his eyes right so then now i'm going to just draw his little eyes with my black marker and then i'm going to put my little bunny whiskers around go all right and we're just going to use some pink crayon for the bunny ears so we're going to put some little pink right there to the top to make a little pink ears and there we have a little bunny rabbit doesn't he look cute nice so now we can start on our carrots and what we are going to use is, well, if you have yarn, you can use green yarn, or like I said, I'm going to use some green paper. So what I'm going to do first of all is just cut this strip in half. All right, and then I'm going to that again in half and then I'm going to start making my little pieces so I'm just going to cut it down just make a cut across I'm still going to use that piece that 
go up there. Right. So this is how it looks and I'll continue with all the other people. Alright, so we cut up all our strips of green paper and you're going to just bend it lightly so you can get the top of the carrot just to make a nice pattern. You see how it looks there now? As opposed to this. So we're going to do the same thing and just kind of bend it slightly. To get our carrot tops all right so now that we have that there we're going to use our trusty glue and start with the first close pen so we are going to put it to the top and just bring it around and then just trim off the excess of course all right then should use this side this this is a bit more solid so i'm going to use this side so basically I'm just be going to use more or less half of this, alright? So I'm going to cut it in half and then I'm just going to put my glue around the glue top. Well actually that's the bottom. Put the glue around the bottom of my clothes pin and wrap my paper around the top, alright? So we're gonna do that and just squeeze nicely so it's stuck on there. Can you see? I have my first carrot top. All right, friends, so now we are ready to play our carrot pickup game. And we have our bunnies. And as we know, our bunny loves carrots. So the game is to try and pick up the carrots from our little basket here using your little bunny clip. So you can open it and close it and then pick up all of your carrots. So let's get started. Here we go. Ugh. I got one. Oh, that's a little tricky. Ugh. Let's try this one. Ugh. I got two. That one is tough. Let's try this one. Yes. Three, two more to go, friend. Maybe I should try. Ooh. Ah, four. Let's get the last one. There we go. Number five. So we got all five carrots. Hooray for Mr. Bunny. So you can have fun playing this game and enjoy. All right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me today. I know you enjoyed making your craft and of course, playing your little game. So I can't wait to see you here tomorrow where we are going to be making our Easter bonnet hat. So stay tuned for that, friends. I'll see you next time. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.